Nico Harrison's first move as general manager for the Dallas Mavericks is a big one as he sends Josh Richardson to the Boston Celtics while the Mavericks create cap room looking to have a big summer. This is the gray area right here on Kevin Gray Sports. My name is Kevin Gray. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Kevin Gray Sports. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right there for all things Kevin Gray Sports here on YouTube. You can catch me on your home with the Dallas Cowboys and Texas Rangers. 105.3 The Fan. Shalom Sharania of The Athletic reporting that the Dallas Mavericks are moving Josh Richardson to the Boston Celtics. Josh Richardson opts in to his $11.6 million player option going into next season. He moves to the Boston Celtics. Meanwhile, the Dallas Mavericks get a $10.9 million trade exception, clearing cap space in order to try and pursue some free agents going into the summer. Obviously, the Mavericks will need to continue to try and clear cap space to go and create a max slot at the $33, $34 million clip, which means renouncing the cap hold of one Tim Hardaway Jr. possibly, if that means getting to that $34 million mark going into this summer to try and pursue guys like Kyle Lowry, who we've seen reported by Mark Stein, the Dallas Mavericks, the Miami Heat, and the New Orleans Pelicans getting into the Kyle Lowry sweepstakes. Sweepstakes. It sounds like the Mavericks are making the first move in order to try and ensure that that is an actual reality going into Monday's beginning of free agency in the NBA. For Josh Richardson, really nice guy, good kid, just did not work out for the Dallas Mavericks. Did not get the kind of production that you thought you were going to get from Richardson coming over from the Philadelphia 76ers when he was traded in exchange for Seth Curry defensively did not work out the way that you would hope for the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks last season going and trying to get better on the defensive end of the floor. Richardson was supposed to be a part of those plans, adding some toughness in perimeter defense. It just simply did not work out for Josh Richardson this past season. Obviously dealt with COVID a couple of times, had a really tough season, but more it was just an ill fit for Josh Richardson and the Dallas Mavericks. He fits into the trade exception of former Boston Celtic Gordon Hayward barely for the Boston Celtics. But for the Dallas Mavericks and Nico Harrison, a big first step in trying to ensure that the Mavericks have a big-time summer when it comes to trying to attract free agents. Now that the Lakers have acquired Russell Westbrook, does that put guys like Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, and others in play for the Mavericks to try and get after them in free agency? Again, this really hinges on the idea of renouncing Tim Hardaway Jr.'s cap hole going into this summer, also declining the team option from one Willie Cauley-Stein. Do you potentially move off of Trey Burke, potentially also going into the summer to try and create even more cap space where you could get to upwards of $40 million in potential space for the Mavericks? All those moves remain to be seen, but the first one, which we thought was going to be happening at some point, Josh Richardson moving on from the boss, from the Dallas Mavericks, is now moving on to the Boston Celtics. So if you're a Mavericks fan, you're extremely excited about not only the clearing of the cap space going into the summer, but obviously a move that a lot of Mavericks fans thought and kind of wanted to see was this team move on from Josh Richardson. Again, it just simply did not work out between the Mavericks and Josh Richardson. It is good for all parties involved that both are able to move on from each other and now go into a summer free and clear of one another. For Jason Kidd, Nico Harrison, Michael Finley in this front office, Keith Grant, Andrew Baker, who was brought over from the Brooklyn Nets to help in the capology department. This was the kind of creativity that we thought we could potentially see from this Mavericks team to try and get themselves in position going forward. You say, Kevin, this is really not that creative of a move. It had to be done in order to create the kind of cap space that you wanted to have going into the summer. For this front office, yeah. It's some creativity here because it shows a boldness, a willingness to not sit on, sit around and wait for things to happen. They are making it happen themselves, which is important for Nico Harrison to show the kind of initiative as a general manager who is learning on the fly that he is willing to learn and learn quickly to put this team in position to go after the kinds of stars it thinks it needs to get in order to build around 22-year-old superstar Luka Doncic. So the Dallas Mavericks fire the first salvo when it comes to their free agency and trying to get themselves in position to chase after guys like Kyle Lowry and others. They move on from Josh Richardson as they trade him to the Boston Celtics. The deal will be completed on Saturday, so that deal will become official once everything has taken place from a transactional standpoint. But the Dallas Mavericks send Josh Richardson 
to the Boston Celtics, he opts into his $11.6 million player option. The Dallas Mavericks get a $10.9 million trade exception, clearing cap space with an opportunity to now really pursue the likes of Kyle Lowry and others going into Monday's NBA free agency. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Kevin Gray Sports. Be sure to hit that subscribe button right there for all things Kevin Gray Sports here on YouTube. It's been another episode of The Gray Area. We'll talk to you later. Peace.